I have wondered what a catalytic converter looks like inside while it's functioning ever since I saw this glowing orange light coming from underneath my RX-7 and realized that it was the catalytic converter. And I'm pretty sure this is because rotaries are known for dumping a lot of unburned fuel into the exhaust, which probably causes the catalytic converter to get that hot. And that's one of the reasons I wanna see what's happening inside while it's working. The catalytic converter is something that almost every car in the world has. Its purpose is to reduce harmful emissions created by incomplete combustion. I'm focusing mostly on the visual aspect of the catalytic converter working. If you're interested in a detailed explanation of how the process takes place, I left a few links in the description below for you to check out. But for now, I'm gonna get to work building my see-through catalytic converters. I'm all done building my first see-through catalytic converter. The idea here is to see what's happening inside the catalytic converter when it's working. And in order to do that, I need to hook it up to my engine right here. And I'm not making any promises because I've never done this before. I'm gonna start the engine, run it normal, then I'm gonna run it rich. So we're gonna see what happens in those two scenarios. And I don't know what this is gonna look like because I've never done this before, but we're about to find out. This engine is not like that little three horsepower. This sucker is loud. So here it goes. That was kind of interesting. As you can see, what I did is I started it up with the regular mixture already warmed up and then I added the choke. And what that does is it richens the mixture. It adds a lot more fuel and makes it run rich. As soon as I did that, you can see the catalytic love that. It just started glowing red hot and doing its job. Unfortunately, my seal came apart and the glass came off and cracked. I'm gonna move on to the next version of this catalytic converter. And as you can see, this catalytic converter is a full-size catalytic and the new see-through one is uh, it's pretty tiny in comparison. So all my clamps are tight. I'm just gonna start it up and do the same thing I did before. All right, so let's do it.
In this case, the high-speed camera didn't reveal a huge amount of extra information, but that fireball near the outlet of the catalytic converter is a clear indication that there is hydrocarbons being burned inside the catalyst because there's no fire going in, but there's fire coming out. That was a lot of fun. I always expect more than what I get. I always want it to look better, but uh, it would look pretty cool. It definitely gave me a really good idea of what the catalytics job is. I mean, I kind of already knew, but like I said, I wanted to see inside. I mean, it got so hot that it melted my steel rod. I don't know if you remember the shape of this when I put it in there, but it didn't look like that. Let's just take a look and see. And at the end there, what I was doing was I was hitting the choke and the throttle, letting it dump gas in there, and then that's where we were getting those fireballs from. But this is what's left over. I mean, it's a little torn up, but it looks, I mean, it looks perfectly new because this is designed to get hot, and that's its job. So that's it. That's it for this video. That's all I wanted to do was see how a catalytic looked, if we were able to look inside while it was functioning, and that was about it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and check out that bell. And uh, yeah, tell me what you thought about this project or any variations of it. And I'm curious to see what people think. But this is basically the only reason I did this video was just to see inside of a catalytic converter while it was functioning. And that's what I did.